Hello and good evening. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0 live from the Ham Shack. My name is Jason. My call sign is uh, KC5HWB. We're going to be discussing today uh, the new 2 meter 85 watt mobile radio from Alenco, uh model number DR Delta Romeo B185HT. I don't know why it has an HT on the back of it. It's not a handheld, but those are the numbers on it anyway, letters at the back of the numbers, but B185, 185 meaning one band, 85 meaning 85 watts, so uh, we're going to take a look at that, unbox the radio, and uh, put it on the power meter and do some testing on it and see just exactly what it is outputting. It is a mono band radio, just two meters only, and I've noticed that at most ham fests uh, in big cities, big metropolitan areas like uh, the... Dallas Fort Worth area or Houston Texas or uh, Oklahoma City uh, most of these uh, mono band radios usually don't sell very well but when I get out into the more rural areas such as uh, the Midland Ham Fest in Midland Texas um, the Belton Ham Fest maybe some of the smaller ones in Oklahoma um, Little Rock is uh, Little Rock was a kind of a mix of both <laughs> I had uh, some big city stuff and some small city stuff out there, but I noticed that once you get out away from the metropolitan areas where the repeaters get uh, fewer and farther between, that people uh, usually uh, kind of migrate towards two meter only, and they want more power. So um, this radio came out as a competition for the Kenwood uh, TM281, which is a 65 watt uh, two meter monoband uh, mobile radio. So Elenco had to come up and say we're going to do better than that and advertise 85 watts so we're going to see here in just a second if uh, if it actually does what it is advertised to do so Alenco Alenco is a great radio they make a great product uh, they've got a new uh, DR638T out that's a full transmit open transmit 136 to 174 and 400 to 470 it's a part 90 certified radio uh, mobile unit of course um, does about 45, 50 watts per band, and um, it's a really good radio. Their 635T is the predecessor to that, which is not open, not full open transmit out of the box. It's about 50 bucks cheaper. Um, but uh, Linko, they just they don't get enough press. You know, people think of the big three and they think Kenwood, Icom, and Yezu. Quite frankly, I'd rather have a I'd rather have an Alenco radio most days of the week. I'd rather have an Alenco radio than a Yezu radio, at least for VHF, UHF. Uh, Linko makes a really good uh, HF rig for under $600, the SR8T. And uh, actually, I think it may be under $500. I'll have to look at that and see. So in my opinion, the Linko makes a fantastic radio for about the same price as everybody else. Um, their HF rigs are obviously cheaper. Uh, they don't have as big a variety as Icom and Yezu do, but... Um, but they make a really decent 100-watt base station rig. So um, uh, Linko is a good way to go. So let's take a look at this uh, 100, uh, 185 HT. And uh, if you found me on YouTube, hit up my website, livefromthehamshack.tv. And we will. Um, you can take a look at all my videos there and um, see everything I've done. Do a lot of unboxing videos such as the one you're about to watch. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned and let's take a look at this radio. This is the Alenco DRB 185. It says HT right here. It's, this is not an HT. This is a mobile radio. This is their 2 meter 2 meter only. 85 watts. We're going to test that here in a minute, of course. Brand new radio just came out from Alenco, as I said a minute ago. It feels like a plastic, but I don't think it is. No, it's coated. The coated bracket. It's not plastic. It felt like plastic when I first picked it up. So, this is the... Uh, Linko's always had cool-looking microphones. DTMF microphone. That's a big sucker, too. It's not that heavy. <coughs> Screws. 
Uh, ooh, this is a nice, nice big and thick power cable here. Got a standard T connector on the end. And just uh, bare leads on the other end, right here. Of course, a fuse in each side. Let's see what the fuse in the red side is. It is a 20 amp fuse. That ought to be plenty. Of course, it is an 85 watt radio. I'm supposed to, that's what it's advertised as. Here's the radio. There's what it looks like there. It's got a. Is that an 8 pin? Yeah, that's an 8 pin connector. There for the. Uh, the microphone. You don't see that a whole lot anymore. You sell that on old ones a lot. This is your FCC identification number here. DR-B185HT. High transmit, maybe that means. I don't know. Standard SO239. And an external speaker in the back. That's a decent sized heat sink there. So, we're going to hook this up and see what we see. There's, it's nothing... It's, it's just a 2 meter radio. We'll see what kind of range it's got. Sometimes people will call me and they'll be like, hey, do you have the TYT TH9000 in 2 meter only? That's a, that's a mono band radio. It comes in 2 meters, 220, and 440. And I've, I've only ever bought the 220 version. I've never bought the 2 meter version. I know some guys that use the 440 version on GMRS. It's a Part 90 radio, so should be legal to use on GMRS. But uh, but I've never bought the 220 version because that radio costs. That radio sells for about one 149, 159, somewhere in there, depending on where you see it. You can find them on Amazon, direct from China, for cheaper than that. Sometimes you get free shipping, and sometimes not. But then those guys are the ones who usually call me and say, "Hey, I bought this from Amazon and." It failed. Can you warranty it for me? I'd be like, well, no, you need to send it back to China and pay 50 bucks. <laughs> and then have them fix it and charge you another 50 bucks to send it back to you. And then you're at $100 into the hole for a $150 radio. So uh, so you can find them cheaper than that. But about $150 is what those co those TH TYT TH9000s cost. This one is, uh, I forget the price on this one right now, but the Kenwood, the TM281A Kenwood, sells for 142 I have those on my website for 142 Sometimes I'll discount them down to 139 at Hamfests. And I'm sorry, but the Kenwood 65-watt radio is a far, far, far better radio than a TYT TH9000 60-watt 2-meter-only radio. So it's not worth the money to buy a TH9000 and two meters only because you can get the Kenwood TM281 and now this one this one's 85 watts which is more than the Kenwood and the TYT at least that's what it advertises that's what the 185 means is 85 or 85 watts so one band 85 watts high transmit I'm guessing here but makes sense so let's uh, let's hook it up and see what we see The Alenco DRB185HT radio powered up. This is the microphone. It's got a bike backlight on it. It's got a lock toggle switch right there. Oh, if you lock it, the backlight turns off. That's interesting. Up and down right there. Microphone, push to talk. It's got a hanger instead of a clip on it, if that bothers you. Some people it does. You can turn DT DTMF off and on with the, well, let me raise it up here, so lock off and on right here, DTMF off and on right here. And when the mic is lit up, if you turn if you turn the lock on, the mic goes dark. So that's the, that's the trick here. And uh, I went ahead and tested this before uh, we turned the camera on. Um, outside of amateur radio frequencies, 140, it will not transmit. So this is an amateur radio only. It's not, uh, I mean, you could probably clip it, but out of the box it comes uh, amateur radio only. Which means, you know, their, their new D, DR638T is not only dual band, 
but it's part 90, so it's open transmit all the way from 136 to 174 and 400 to 470 or 480 megahertz. So it's legal on business band. It's legal on um, public safety bands on 440 and the 150 range. It's legal on GMRS uh, if you have a GMRS license. So that is a really, really neat radio, and it has a separation kit for the face also. This one does not have a separate, doesn't look like the, the head separates from it. We didn't look, get a look at that earlier. But, so let's go to 146.520 and you can switch the you can switch the uh, high-low with the button on the mic right there. Switch between uh, VFO and memory mode, that kind of thing. Uh, call frequency. But uh, this is this is really cool. Y'all are going to like this. So this is low power. You see the L on the screen right there. There's an L on the screen. It's just got two power, power, uh, two power settings, high and low. That's it. Nothing fancy. So if I key up on low, right here on the 5-watt scale, we're pushing like 4 watts. So we turn up the 20-watt scale. The 20-watt scale is showing closer to 5 watts. So if you're running an amp in the car, or in the shack, I guess. You can kick it down to 5 watts and power your amp that way. Now look at this. We're on 146.52, the national calling frequency for FM Simplex. And we're switching up to the 200 watt scale on the meter there. Right there. Boom. 100 watts. I'm going into a dummy load here. 100 watts. KC5 HWB testing. Alenco two meter only radio so it's actually a little bit low lower than 100 it's about 90 95 watts something like that we can go down here to 144 say we wanted to uh, run it on APRS 144 390 uh, it's closer to yeah closer to 85 watts there actually closer to about 65 watts down there on the band 147, 500. I don't know why you'd be up there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, about 90, 95 watts right there. So it does do every bit of the advertised 85 watts on the por portions of the band where you're going to be, where you're going to be wanting to talk. It does a good 90 plus watts throughout the 2 meter band. So that is the Elenco. DR dash B one eighty five HT mono band two meter only radio. If you live out away from the metropolitan area and you don't have two two hundred twenty megahertz, you don't have have nine hundred megahertz, you don't have much in the way of digital D star DMR whatever. Uh, but you've got some two meter frequencies out there and maybe a couple of four forty frequencies don't don't get used a whole lot. That's how it is out. I've got a deer lease uh, about two hours north of here. And there's a couple there's there's a couple of 440 repeaters that you get used out there, but there's two meter repeaters that most of the time people are on. If you live out there somewhere away from the metropolitan area and you need a good two meter radio, nothing fancy, nothing special, just solid solid 90 watts of two meter transmission. Well, there we have the Elenco DR185 B185 HT, uh, 85 watt. Monoband two meter radio, not a bad representation. Like I said, the the Elenco brand is a very good brand. Um, I've often thought about taking all the radios out of my truck and replacing everything with Elenco, putting a six thirty eight in there for a dual band. Uh, they make a they make a two meter. Uh, I'm sorry, a two twenty. Uh, the DR two thirty five Mark three, and. Um, they make, well, and then they make an, an HF rig. It's not really more of a desktop rig rather than a mobile. You can use it mobile. It'll run on 12 volts. In fact, I think it comes with 12 volt, uh, a 12 volt connector, but it doesn't, uh, it's really big. So you'd have to <laughs> figure out where to mount it, uh, have a big car or a truck or something, but, uh, probably won't ever do that, but I like the radio setup I've got now, but Alenco makes a fantastic product. They really do. Uh, I'd recommend an Alenco to anybody who wants a good, sturdy, uh, rugged radio. So, 73 guys, thanks for watching. If you found me on YouTube, go visit my website, livefromtheHamshack.tv. 
Um, there's donation links down the right hand side of the page. You can uh, choose to support me in my endeavors in uh, just uh, getting more videos up on the air, get the production quality upgraded, and or you can just like my uh, like my YouTube's and follow me on uh, on my website. Seventy three, and thanks for watching.